Hi guys, in this video I'm going to uh, clean up some tools I've used and to be exact I've used my uh, cordless drill and uh, well a happy tool owner has clean tools so well this is uh, my Einhell Ergo tool and uh, it's it's uh, pro-consumer model I would say it's a cheap one it's 18 volt in the package I got uh, two uh, batteries but um, in in the past I've uh, used tools and not cleaned them and regretted it uh, one time I had to clean it up with uh, with a uh, lubricant because it was seized and um, it caught fire so um, after that I was uh, very uh, rigorous and every time I use a tool I clean it up uh, and put it away in, a, in my toolbox so first of all let's talk about cleaning tools um, reference your owner manual for proper cleaning procedures are very important if they recommend something it's most likely uh, regulated within the warranty so if you don't clean it their way your warranty will be void also um, don't use uh, like don't push put this in the dishwasher in the washing machine or something like that don't rinse it off it's an electric tool and as with most tools you'll uh, well, you'll break them permanently, most likely. So, what do you use? Well, what do I use to clean my, my, my tools? Let's start with a rag, or in this case, I'm using um, a microfiber cloth. I, I, I have like a bunch of these, and I use them to clean, uh, well, like this, uh, this surface or anything and uh, microfiber is, is fantastic <coughs> uh, normal fibers in a, in a rag are like fibery and twisted together these are in a microfiber a rag there are like hollow tubes and you don't uh, use a microfiber rag completely wet no moist and for cleaning tools I use uh, a lot of water mixed in with a couple of drops of dishwasher soap that I keep in uh, in this spray bottle because yeah I store these and they get dry I wash them in the washing machine and that's very handy but when they're dry well they're not functional so I use a spray bottle plant spray bottle do this and you can see there's a a color difference and then I just well let's first show you this there's a little stain here and this is tacky rubbery so it won't clean up perfectly but here you can see a difference right away uh, I don't know if that will show up on camera but let's try to do a Clean it up so you can see. But sometimes you see guys with tools that are crudded with, with all kinds of uh, stuff. And, and we're not talking about like, like an electric drill, drill of like below 50 euros. We're talking about drills from, uh, well, here you can see. It's taking off the dirt very well. But you're talking about guys with tools that are like 200 300 euros and then i say what the hell is wrong with you huh? the lifespan of a drill if it's used very intensively isn't all that long you break them you drop them and etc but i mean a drill of 300 euros covered with let's uh, say gypsum because they mix uh, uh, gypsum uh, for uh, plaster work and etc. Well, and I say you're not really worth the money you invest in your tools. 
Uh, with, with a microfiber rack you always have to uh, go from uh, a dirty spot to a clean spot and uh, you use most of the time a lot of these but uh, yeah here you can see if you've noticed the spots are almost gone I have to watch out, I have a name tag on here you don't have to see but uh, if you have crud inside of the, the venting holes they are like here you can use a compressor don't blow it in try to blow it out but still reference your user manual owner's manual for proper cleaning instructions just to keep your product within warranty and this drill it's uh, five years old and I'm uh, well, I'm not getting that off that's uh, the tacky part but uh, after five years it's still functioning very nicely so that's good if you have a spot that's uh, Crawl it on, use a little bit more moisture, but not like here, it's gone, not like too much. This does take time, but for a drill that's five years old, that's basically a consumer model, it's, look, it's looking very nice, and I'm happy with it. It's not only a good working tool, but it's also a very nice operating tool. Yeah, and that's good enough. Now, watch out with the batteries, don't short circuit them. But also uh, wipe them down. And so, there's a the charger, simple wipe would be enough because it's only dusty. Now, there's something here. Here goes the drill bit. I'm wiping it off. And then, let's see if I can do this. Yeah. I've got some oil here. Um, just dropping one drop of oil in there so and then I'm well what did I do I dropped in a drop of oil and I made sure the mechanism is lubricated that's also uh, important it's not mandatory but if this uh, uh, drill I guess it's called a head this clamping mechanism is seized you have to replace it and sometimes you can't get uh, the, the, the same head for a machine and then uh, you'll have an odd one on there and that's not nice because there's basically an, uh, an axle axle yeah in there and uh, well it's universal so you can fit on different heads okay I think this looks uh, very nice so this can go into my uh, toolbox oh yeah what I do is charge up the batteries before I put them away so then if I uh, have a, a screw or uh, to put in somewhere uh, most of the time I have a little bit of juice left into in the, the, the batteries and I can do one or two screws without any fail even after half a year of, uh, of uh, leaving it in my toolbox but what did I use let's clean this off a bit guess that's a bit of oil. Microfiber uh, 
rag or how should it yeah let's call it that water lots of water with two drop uh, drop uh, droplets yeah detergent I'm sorry dishwashing soap so liquid kind mix it up and use a, uh, a couple of drops if you're needing to do it by hand on the on the rag never completely wet because it won't absorb microfiber won't absorb if it's wet completely wet only moist I uh, cover it uh, cleaned it off and it's clean okay <coughs> one little tip if you've got blood and if you work with tools sometimes you cut yourself so if you have blood on your tools clean them off but include in the mix a couple of drops of chlorine just to uh, well basically sterilize the equipment if especially if you lend it out to somebody and it comes back with blood you don't know even if you know somebody you don't know what's uh, what so clean off your tools and be uh, hygienic okay oh yeah and we uh, put a drop of oil in the head of the drill and that's working very nicely now you don't need to do that every time but you'll you'll know if it's your tool this one also has to get cleaned it's a part of my uh, ratchet set I sometimes use it in the drill and I always put those things clean away because otherwise they get ruined because dirt attracts moisture and these things are metal so they'll rust hey guys I'm uh, guessing we're at it for too long once again I wanted this to be a short video but uh, I hope uh, it's been uh, informative have a great day and uh, see you uh, during the next uh, video bye bye